This is Sandra Hart in Life Over 60 with Sandra. The other day we just celebrated a day for women and women's appreciation. And I never think about women unless I think about my mother. My mother is always as close as my next thought. There isn't a day that goes by that I wish I could pick up the phone and talk to my mother. While I never used to admit it, she really did know what was best for me. I now know her love for my brother and myself had no boundaries, and although she was first to see that her needs were met, she was selfless when it came to her children. It is with deep regret that only after her passing at the age of 92 that I've become so wise about my mother's loyalty. Oh, sometimes I would fight her. When I did listen to her, she usually was right. Case in point. Sandra, there's a perfect job I heard for you today. A teacher's position on television. Mother had read about a children's program that was auditioning in Baltimore, near my university. Are you crazy? I argued. I don't have any qualifications to do that. I don't even have a teaching degree. But as usual, Mother's persistence wore me down, and I went to the audition. I'm ashamed to admit that she was right, and it changed the course of of my life. Against all odds, on a dark rainy day, I got the job. All due to my mother's overwhelming faith in me. Oh, Sandra, I always knew you could do it, she said. The children's program was Romper Room. This one job gave me the beginning of a wonderful career throughout my life in television. The other day, a friend of mine was chasing her empty garbage cans rolling in the wind away from her house. As I ran, my 70-year-old heart was marching like a brass band, trying to catch up to the parade, and I could hear my mother say, Run faster, Betty. You can catch them. <laughs> it's amazing. But after all these years... Her mother has never left her side. A mother's influence in her child's life, whether positive or negative, lasts a lifetime. Perhaps small remnants are worn away with time, but the fabric they have woven into our lives is there forever. I consider myself one of the children in this world to have been blessed with the nurturing of a mother who was, most of the time, able to get it right. And this brings me to one of the biggest problems we can encounter when we're considering making changes in our life. It's that brick wall we can't seem to get over. Even though the changes we want to make will bring more happiness by considerably enhancing our lives, self-doubt and fear of leaping over that wall to the other side will still try to stop us in our tracks. Why does this happen? Now, I guess that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? To leap is not only the action of leaping, but it's to hopefully hit the ground somewhere better than where you are at the moment. You can't always gauge it perfectly. But in the action of doing, you must not forget to realize that taking the leap is nothing short of an act of courage. Now, realistically, most of us don't get epiphanies. We only get a faint whisper, perhaps just the slightest of urges. My big whisper one that changed my life forever came not from within me, but from my mother years ago, that time when she convinced me to audition for Romper Room. So sure 
that I didn't have any of the qualifications for that television show. I was focused on what's next instead of what was first. I was afraid to believe in myself by holding myself accountable for the opportunity I was being given. My mother's whisper taught me that there is nothing more brave than filtering out the chatter in my own head that kept telling me I was someone I was not. She taught me that there's nothing more genuine than breaking away from the chorus to learn the sound of my own voice. Taking that first leap was nothing short of positive belief in myself. Needless to say, as I told you, I got the job, and it did change my life forever. I don't know about you, but the ultimate feeling I want before I breathe my last is that I didn't take advantage of the opportunities because I gave into my refusal to leap forward, as in my video channel, Life Over 60. My almost missing a life-altering opportunity was my wake-up call that shook me out of my complacency. What will yours be? It's up to you to take your own leap of discovery into a new life.